Hi, I'd like to show you how to add a website, SQL website, to a Visual Studio Express 2012 web project. This is the project I've got open. So I'm going to right click on here and say add, add ASP.NET folder, and the folder is going to be app data. So app data is a folder where I'm going to build my web um, database in. Then I'm, let me just get that going. I'm going to right click on here. I'm going to say add, add new item. Go down here, SQL database. I'll call it MyDB. I'll say add this takes a while okay so it's added my DB and what I've got now as I refresh it and it shows my DB. Note I'm in the Data Explorer tab, not the Solution Explorer. When I go to Solution Explorer now, I see this tab open, and my DB is there. All right, so I've got my DB. Okay. All right. Now let's go back to Database Explorer. I've got a database, but there's nothing in it or no layout. And the purpose of the video is not to explain how to build a database at all I'm going to use a very very simple database the purpose of this video is to show you how with uh, Visual Studio Express 2012 you can set up a database alright so what I want to do first to my database is I want to add a table so I right click it again and anything with databases on my machine uh, tends to be somewhat long so add new table All right, so it's working. And it's loading this design surface up. Now I want to call the table name uh, friends, okay? And what I do immediately as I open it is I go down here to the T SQL and I say friends. And that will have that change that to friends. Now I have an ID and this is going to be my key field. So I'm going to change the name to oh, uh, friends ID. Friends ID. And I'm going to add, oh, okay, before I add anything, I'm going to go to the properties of the key field, get some more room, and I'm going to go to identif identity specification. I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to change it from false to true, and what that will do is auto generate numbers for the ID field. And you can see the increment in the seed. Okay, now I'm going to add um, name, and I'll make that Inver Cara, and I'm going to um, require that field, and then I'm going to add age, and I'm going to make that int, and I'm going to require that field. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to update this thing. And it's preparing an update script. Then I'm going to update, and this is good because it shows you the name has been updated there. So update the database. And now when that database was updated, the, uh, there was a star here showing that it hadn't been saved off. Now it's saved off. All right. 
So the next thing I do, I want to add a few names to this thing. So I'm going to right click on here. Sorry. I'm going to right, I expanded it. I'm going to right click on the table. I open the table, right click on the table and say show table data. This is a little lighter than these two, meaning that it's going to be an auto ID. So the first name is going to be uh, Tom, and Tom is uh, 33. And then we'll put uh, the next name is going to be um, Mary, and Mary is uh, 22. And then the next name is going to be Joe, and Joe is 26. And the next name is going to be Harry, and Harry is 13. And finally, uh, Joan, and Joan is uh, 35. Okay. So I'll tab off, and that will be my data in my table. All right. So there's the database with the table in the project. Note I'm in Data Explorer when I create that. Let me go to Solution Explorer and just show you. Uh, this is very, very basic, and it's not much. But let's go here. It's taking a while to get back to the page. Taking a long while. Sorry. I could pause this. I think I will. Okay, I'm back to my page. And I'm just going to add a couple of quick things. I'm not even going to talk about the code. So I'm going to go into my toolbar. I'm going to pin it. I'm going to go to data. And I'm going to get the SQL um, data source. I'm going to drag it on. I'm going to configure it. I'm going to get a connection string, and there's my database that we had. That's the connection string we're going to use. I'm going to say next. I'm going to say next. I'm going to say next. If there were more than one table, you'd select them in this drop down list. I'm going to test the query to make sure I'm connected and see the data I put in. There it is. I'm going to finish. Okay, now I'm going to quickly grab a grid view. All right. Come on, oh darn it. All right, I'm going to, yeah, we're good, we're good. I'm going to grab a grid view and drop that on here. I'm going to go to choose data source, and I'll tie that to my SQL data source. I should really name them, but I'm kind of in a hurry. I'm going to choose some default um, table layout. That's nice. I'm going to, just for laughs, enable sorting. And then I'm going to save the page. I'm going to run it in Firefox. gives me the message and I say of course a few more hours and we'll be there the code that's in here is very interesting it's pretty obvious what's going on too so it's in, uh, if you're interested in the code and what's going on in the you can learn a lot by looking at it and then when I bring Firefox up this is what I'm seeing Still loading. Still loading. And finally, it will be here soon enough, I guess. And there's my database. Um, I could have it large, or I could 
could do a lot of things, but I don't. Now, if you remember, I checked that sort thing. So I can sort the names. I can sort the ages. Note the, the differences, age, this way or that way. The names alphabetically or inversely. And the IDs. So that's what we have. Quick, uh, quick video, a little longer than I had liked, on databases and uh, Visual Studio 2012 Web Express. Thank you very much.